everyone. I'm here today on this rainy Sunday afternoon making my final blog post via video at Mobtown Brewery. It has been the inspiration for my Mobtown um, blog this semester. Okay, so we're inside uh, Mobtown Brewery. As you can see, I have my flight with me. Unfortunately, referring to Baltimore as Mobtown has been um, historical negative connotations around Baltimore. We have a reputation for breaking into unrest and um, riots in the response of national and local events. Far too often we've become known for our mobs, especially when the television series The Wire has continued to propagate the undesirable perception of Baltimore. One of the reasons I chose to do this course this summer was after the pandemic, I wanted to get out and rediscover Baltimore, some of the familiar places that I've been and some new ones. I hope that after reading my blog articles, you can really get the strong impression that I love Baltimore. Baltimore is a great and wonderful city, vibrant and forever youthful. If you are a Loyalist student and your family comes to visit, I hope that you will take advantage of some of my recommendations and destinations to visit. This will help your parents know that Baltimore is mother tested and mother approved. So um, I hope that they will come to recognize it as mom town. Baltimore is known as Smaltimore. It's always true for a Loyola student. If you identify yourself that you're associated with Loyola University, immediately the response will be in a conversation regarding our lacrosse team, Jesuit education in general, and specifically Father Tim Brown, who knows all people in Baltimore, like seven degrees of Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Upon completion of this class that I have taken this summer to write this blog, I have just two more classes to take. I'm on track to graduate in May of 2020 with my Bachelor of Arts degree in Psychology. This completes a 12-year journey that I have taken being an adult learner in the classroom, taking one class at a time and doubling up during the pandemic. With graduation from Loyola University, Maryland, this becomes my alma mater. Alma mater is a Latin phrase currently used to identify school, college, or university that one formerly attended. When you translate it, it means nourishing mother, nursing mother, or fostering mother, suggesting that the school provides intellectual nourishment. So that being said, the citizens of Momtown, for which I have been writing here at Loyola, has been all of my professors and my classmates who have nourished and fostered my education through the years. And since we're here at a brewery, hey Momtown, here's to you.